Hey guys, this is uh, Hoodstock4, back here again with a uh, unboxing, kind of a haul video. So uh, a week or, a week or so ago, I, think, I believe it was, that seems about right, uh, I ordered a uh, box of figures. Now, um, this was from an eBay seller, and it was almost complete wave of Crisis 2 figures. Now, the only figure that's not in here I already have, which was the Seth Grunt. So, after this box, I will have all the figures. So, so I got a knife here. Let's see if I can't get into the tape. Alright, and as you can see, I have duct taped up my address because, yeah, you guys don't need to know that. Come on. Man. This tape is, n is not cooperating with me very well. Uh, hold on, I'm going to set this down for just a quick second. Alright. I really should have cut the tape. I really should have cut the tape before I started recording. Alright. Alright, I got the box open. Now, let's see. There should be a total of... There should be a total of five figures in this box. Now, he said they were already open, but they were 100% but they were 100 complete. So, we'll, we will see if he was right. Okay, here is the, uh, this guy looks cool, here's a cell unit and it looks like everything is here, alright, this probably is one of the worst figures out of the, out of the bunch, but he does look pretty cool, and I love the guns, those look awesome, alright, so, got that dude, bubble wrap, yes, bubble wrap, I love, I love bubble wrap. It's so fun. And now I already have this figure, but um, my my old one I'm going to be giving to one of my friends. And the paint job on this one looks like it's a little bit better than my old one. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It looks like he has a shotgun, his rifle, a machine gun, a rocket launcher, a sniper with no scope for some reason, and a pistol. And, I don't know, if, I guess you couldn't see all the... If you didn't see all the stuff in the cell guy, he comes with the same pistol. And all the human figures come with that pistol. And what looks to be like the a more realistic scar rifle. A C4, I think, that right there is the bomb and that's the detonator if I'm not mistaken. And what kind of looks like a minigun. And the tripod. So, here's a cell. So assault. Oh, actually, what is this guy called? Yes, cell assault unit. That is Alcatraz. And there should be three more in here. Yes, there is. All right. Sweet. Gotten. We have Nomad Nano Suit 1.0. Uh, we have another belt fed machine gun. There should, yep, there's a tripod down in there too. And this looks like I. Uh, Kind of looks like a assault rifle of some kind, with a grenade launcher attachment. Hey, the same pistol, in a, uh, and okay, that is def. Actually, that kind of looks like the uh, one of the Call of Duty Black Ops Two shotguns, that semi-automatic one that has the clip coming out the bottom. So I'm gonna say that's what that is. Is a semi-automatic shotgun. And here are oh, sweet. A uh, heavy alien devastator unit. So this would be like the Crisis 2 version of the Halo Hunter. Oh my god. I mean, look at how big the bubble is on this. Okay, so here's the bubble on this dude. And here's the bubble on this dude. So if I get the... I mean, you can see right there. There is this... This heavy unit is at least twice the size of Alcatraz here. So that is amazing. And now um 
So, if a lot of you remember, my I told you my origin for my uh, gamer from Xbox Gamer Tag, which is Hood Stalker Four. And if you don't remember, well, my name was derived from the uh, Crisis Three Stalker Alien. Now they don't make Crisis Three figures, but Crisis Two Stalker. This is basically the same alien that my Xbox Gamer Tag is derived from. So, you know, I had to get this because, well, it's where my name comes from. Stalker A Alien Assault Unit. Yep, I had to have this. I mean, if you've ever fought the, the Stalker and Crisis 3, those things are fast and they... They can do a bit of damage, and they like to run around the tall grass and the, and the ceiling and attack, and attack you from behind. I mean, that is just awesome. I love that. And actually, um, if you've, I, I doubt a lot of you have, but if any of you have ever played a game with me, maybe on a uh, first-person shooter multiplayer, like in some online game, that's my fighting style. I go in quick, and I just shoot at as many people as I can and take as many people with me as possible. So, but I doubt it'll be, oh, da, I doubt it'll, any of you have ever played with me online before. Well, actually, there is one subscriber that I know of. One of my subscribers I know I've played uh, a couple games with him before. I don't think I've any ever played any shooter games with him, but... But yeah, um, he's uh, Kyle Richardson. Uh, here on YouTube, um, I know him on Xbox. Really, real great guy. Um, for some reason, none of his videos have been uploading properly. I don't know why, but hopefully he gets that fixed. But yeah, it's re he's a real good. He's a great guy, real good friend. So yeah. Anyways, this is his hood stalker, stalker for signing out and yeah, and just saying. Any of these figures I could easily recommend because I have watched video reviews for all of them and I love them. They're great. They're great figures and I don't have any GI Joes with me to show you. Kind of wish I do now. Kind of wish I did. But um, they are in the proper scale with GI Joe and the uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch Star Wars and other 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. Which means if you want, you can definitely use these with those figures. And because of the futuristic suits and the aliens and whatnot, it actually looked pretty decent. I mean, it would look like it would make sense. I mean, these guys, yes, they're gonna like the nano suits and the cell guy. Those are gonna look best with GI Joe, but the aliens they could definitely fit in with um, with Star Wars. So, anyways, this is Toad Stock Four signing out, and I'll see you guys later.